going over some photos. I cleared up a bunch of old videos in order to get more space. So all the pictures I've been taking for the past six months or so, I don't think have been up there. You see this bug right here with these eyes, like implants, and then down here where the chompers are, the where the mouth is. You got this mouth here opening with a couple implants. There's the trap. This is probably just going to be random, unrelated photos of things. Officials probe whether Nashville bomber believed in lizard people. Officials probe whether Nashville bomber believed in lizard people. Uh, I mean, I think, I think Jezebel, Jezebel was known for her religious zeal. She, the, uh, it just ends right there. Back when that Nashville bombing took place on December 25th, 2020, I happened to see in the video this, I don't know, is that reality company or realty? Realty's company, Robin. There it is on that day. Federal agents. Can't see explosion in downtown Nashville as intentional. What could be behind Nashville's explosion? Homeland Security experts weigh in. December 25th, 2020. What could have been behind that? behind Nashville's explosion. So it's being played out and Christmas is tomorrow because today is December 24th. Well, I know it's backwards That's on this that video. Doing it like back this. then it's doing December the 24th. Doing the blast 2020 back then 56 p.m. And I've seen the vision of the Breaking news this Christmas morning from Nashville, an explosion that has rocked downtown Nashville, sent heavy black smoke and flames into the sky. Emergency crews right now are on the scene. Well, and it would be between a six hour and a ninth hour darkness. Three damage done to the surrounding building. So uh, there were people out in the street. Luckily, there weren't. Uh... I said Philly, this has nothing to do with it. So it didn't even happen. None of it was true. Uh, more people injured this morning uh, from, you know, when you consider all the videos that right. we see on yeah, social media. We understand that this happened at yeah. 6.30 a.m. That comes from the Nashville Police Department's Twitter account. I must tell you that I am sure Today's that law December enforcement all planned for these kinds of unfortunate activities. Uh, right. One of the things that oh. they are going to be uh, looking at strongly uh, really in this area Church will Street. be videotape uh, because the videotapes in this area and most of, it, of the area in Nashville, and I am familiar with this area, uh, they're all see video the smoke cameras still rising up. And so Darkness. we will at some stage see the actual explosion itself, I believe. Explosion. And also, there may very well be other clues of six. who uh, bought that uh, supposedly you watch this video. You so look at us playing horseshoes. Coming up from downtown Nashville. You mentioned second in con Making predictions to, to me is like throwing horseshoes. You can get really close, you can be far off, or you can get it wrapped right around the target. Commerce Street, uh, there's a number of bars. It looks like sort of a, a pedestrian walk uh, right down by the river. That way nobody actually gets hurt at all, no matter where you're at, 
you just hear a, a, an explosion. This afternoon, explosion. This afternoon, President-elect Joe Biden thanked emergency workers who responded to the Christmas explosion that heavily damaged part of downtown Nashville. Aside from a White House statement Friday morning thanking first responders, President Trump has yet to comment publicly on the suspected suicide bombing. And CNN We're grateful that there wasn't more loss. I mean, to have few casualties with a explosion of that size is uh, amazing. It's a gift. It's a little bit of a Christmas uh, miracle in a way. But this dramatic video showing the RV exploding, shattering windows, damaging more than 40 storefronts, and injuring at least eight people. None of them seriously. That way nobody actually gets hurt at all, no matter. He moved away from his home. He went to the location on Christmas morning in the middle of a global pandemic, sets the device to explode at 6.30, giving people 15 minutes to get out with an additional 15 tacked on. Everybody was able to get away. And fortunately, no one else was seriously injured or killed. Dr. Southers, thank you again for your expertise and analysis. We appreciate you joining us. And David. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. She will. Again for your expertise and analysis. We appreciate you joining us. And David, David and Molly, I, I think the other key point here is that this happened at 6.30 on Christmas morning. Um, if this bomber wanted to do to inflict the most damage and the most harm he would have waited until 6 30 in the evening i sure can get lost in all the information back then what could be behind nashville explosion homeland security experts weigh in that's what i was trying to figure out like what's who's behind all this stuff that they keep showing in a way if you perceive it like what's what's going to take place so they made sure they showed you at 9 11 a.m. that the smoke was still rising up so it showed that there's still darkness in the sky they were showing you Lou inside of the, the buildings before I think that was before the explosion and on that same day Trump tweeted out made many calls and had meetings at Trump International in Palm Beach, Florida. I'm pretty sure that's the, is that, uh, maybe it's not, but it is an international beach resort in Florida. Why would politicians not want to give people $2,000 rather than only 600 Yeah, right? It wasn't their fault. It was China. Give our people the money. I agree, Trump. Instead of getting paid 600 hours a week, people should get paid 2,000 a week. Work less, but appreciate the job. And it would there be a still an evaluation system where you're not just going to get that and then, and then all of a sudden you're going to automatically have it. It's a way of an incentive from the beginning. And then if you continue on, then it things get better for you when you earn. The one world. So this is this is a Clex video. The W made up of two V's, and there's a delta symbol. I know what else has two has two V's. I don't know about a delta symbol. I don't even know what that looks like. And here's one of them. There's the other. In this birthing system. Uh, random, you just got, you got John, young Johnny down here. I think that may have been your, you had a twin sister? He just wants to tell you, F you pay me. So I love going back in time because on Friday, November 13th, 2020, you can see what screenshots I took on that day, everything that's related. And 
And it, so here's the 59th floor. That reminds me of Liberty. I think it's Liberty One because it has has that many floors. L Eve, L and Eve One Freight. The war in heaven, lawlessness, and gaslighting the world. The Ian Bud Light commercial, Party Hall, 59th floor, the 58th floor. It's almost like the 58th floor is the floor you should have went to. But when you get stuck up in the 59th floor, like that commercial where there's two different, the six on the door falls down no the nine falls down turns into a six and he, he went into the wrong party twin system party so if you didn't know what the whole twin system is all about and if you didn't understand scripture at least somewhat then i guess you, it would make it a lot easier for you to be tricked into it but the main thing is denying your flesh that's how you get tricked into it That picture's on Click's channel. What do you think about that, Derek? You can't make this stuff up that you were looking at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, I mean, you can't. You really can't make that stuff up. And then that ping pong table in the Ian Bud Light commercial. Down the shore, I see this this uh, scorpion looking tree. Before I bought my truck, this was the parking spot that it was in. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not, but I was looking at it, just going over some reminiscing, some still shots, May seventeenth, twenty twenty. I'm. Um, putting myself in, in front of the video where Derek's at until I can actually get inside of the video where Derek's at. Let me make this stuff up where... Back on April 3rd, 2020, my best friend is a reptilian shapeshifter. Is that a problem? Form. Yes, hold on, hold on, hold on one sec. Oh, I'm sorry, I popped you out, out of there. I was trying to bring everybody in here. Now we got everybody, and I'm bringing future fields for Hey, Justin. Hey, so there's Justin. So future What's up, fields. Robin? Let's uh, let What's future up? fields forever have her shot and uh, oh. bring her on. So what do you think, future fields? I was. T I've been reading a book uh, about the. I don't. I'm going to pronounce this stuff right. I'm just reading it. K-Fires and the Baga Mills. And See, I, I, I thoroughly appreciate that you said that because that you're just reading that. You might not pronounce it, which is okay. And uh, how France inherited Octania and how they were running to Germany in it. And, and people pronounce this stuff right. I'm just reading it. K-Fires and the Baga Mills and uh, how France inherited Octania and how they were running to Germany in it. And, and people like us, actually, heretics, I guess, uh, people that are going with the church, they, they actually were the reason the printer presses even got going because they were destroying all the documents going all the way back to the Library of Alexandria. And is where, that's where the Khazars are from. But also keep this in mind, yeah. folks. Here's the thing. Remember the whole political season with Trump and then they were saying that he was trying to strong arm you, the Ukrainian uh, oligarchs when it was really Biden that was doing that. Do you remember that? And all of that and, and the Burisma and all of the billions of dollars that were being, remember this. I told Malia, I said, the Ukraine is building seven of the political system right now. Building seven was the building that wasn't hit by a plane that collapsed after. And if you knew the residents of building seven, it was the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, they're the ones that and so that's just that's like uh building eight isn't part of the the area that the airplanes would have crashed 
into the twin towers with all the all the evidence would be there. Streams of water coming out of the dry desert ground. Did that on those buildings? Yeah, you're exactly right. The money, the money, which is an actual bank, Chase Bank, it is. Because if you're chasing the money in the bank, right down 17th Street, if you just keep going down, you can just keep, you can just go straight down here. You can go right from Liberty 2, crossing over, Liberty 1, chase the money, go down to Race Street, 17th and Race, where the cathedral is being built on parking lot 222 as a third tower being built before one and two go down. Unlike the reversal, one and two went down in in New York, the buildings, the towers, and building seven collapsed when nothing even hit it. Mirror image, that's basically what it, what it does. So they had to destroy the evidence of that by destroying building seven yeah. because it was all coordinated from there. The Ukraine is the same way. The money. Very kind. Thank you. <laughs> I think people with Christ in them, they just look prettier for some reason. You know, that's true, isn't it? That's a fact. Isn't that a beautiful? It's true. Place? I mean, it's like be yeah. just beautiful, like inside out. Pretty, yeah. Oh. And you know, I think that. Pretty, yeah. Oh. And you know, I think that that's something that we're going to, people are going to see in us. I don't know about all of you, but uh, Derek and I get phone calls on. Um, daily basis from folks in you know in our previous professions Derek and Hollywood I was in Florida and TV and you know people in Hollywood I was on a daily basis from folks in you know in our previous professions Derek and Hollywood I was in Florida and TV and you know people start to say those things, they go, how in the world are you holding on to peace and calm? And, you know, even family members of mine who normally probably would have thought I was crazy or whatever, but, um, but because I always ask the questions, Blossom, just like you, like I was willing to look outside of the box and go, but what if, what if it was this, you know, and, and I guess I probably annoyed a lot of pastors and Bible teachers <laughs> along the way. And, um, you know, I, and I didn't care you know because for me being authentic was the most important thing and i think i see that in all of you and that's why i say we do not change one set of dogma for another set of dogma right so it's look at that i knew it i knew it the entire time there and we'll go to last then, thought from justin michael you got any last thoughts uh yeah i just want to thank you derek and Amelia, for doing this it's cool i don't see too many people uh just dropping the link out there and letting anybody hop on so i hope you keep doing this this is pretty cool uh so so dana ashley says oh thanks i'm not able to join because my google Password won't work. I wonder if it was changed. Oh, and, and uh, Z-Dub, I kicked you off there before, but Dana Ashley said, oh, thanks. I'm not able to join because my Google password won't work. God bless you, brother. So that was for Z-Dub. Hold on. Oh. Let me bring you back in. Do you see that, Z-Dub? Do you see that, Z-Dub? She's a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She she oh, that's cool. Dana Ashley. She sure is. She glows. She definitely has that inner glow, doesn't she? Top of the no. world. 
anybody anybody that is that is standing in Christ that understand where we're at. Um, and this is what I mean. We're going to experience something that you can't even comprehend. You